Happy Sunday fun day everyone and welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Yes you are <laughs> and it's Sunday and it's the end of the week but what that means is a couple of premieres today. Now if you're here with us this Sunday, yesterday was all the do's and don'ts. Yes. So Sarah and Mina and Rinska and Aldega, they all had premieres yesterday. So I think there's only just a couple of us left. Yeah. Um, but Sunday's our day. So we are going to be premiering here, premiering here regardless. What are you going to do today, sir? I am going to be doing a dirty flip cup. Wow. Yes. I love your flip cups. In fact, I love all flip cups. They get, you get such great compositions with yeah. them. Um, it's a really easy way to get cells if you use the right paints. Mm. And um, yeah, it's just a really fun way of like, you know, getting a really beautiful composition. So I'm excited for this yeah. one. Um, I, it has been a while since Deborah has appeared on the studio. <laughs> so lazy Deborah is gonna take, uh, get an appearance today for sure. I'm going to do a ring pour. Oh, I'm not sure nice. yet whether I'll use a split cup or not. Okay. Hmm, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to do a ring pour. I'm definitely going to use the Lazy Dev room. We'll spin that bad boy out. All right. I'm excited. Yeah. Hmm. So, thank you for joining us on this Sunday. We know that some of you will be here within this chat. If we do not say this long, in, this often enough, thank you so very much for watching. Yeah. Thank you for all your super chats. It all goes back into the studio with paint. And that's the reason why we have such wonderful paints here. It's all because of you. Yes. And if you're a Patreon, um, please know that we appreciate you and thank you so very much and uh, all our moderators too thumbs up guys we love you all so with that being said let's get to the table let's start painting let's start painting we'll see you there all right guys it's jeremy here and today i am doing a dirty flip cup flippers cuppers yes it's been um, a while for you sir it's been a while i'm excited to that. see yeah, you yeah, do yeah. this um my canvas today is an 11 uh sorry a 12 by 16 gallery wrapped boom pinned and taped and uh the colors that we're using today are we've actually used them just recently we did and, and it was stunning to and it was yeah they were so much fun but what they are is the turquoise phalo by goldens delish yes love that one the permanent red violet by amsterdam the permanent blue light by grumbacher 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 um and then we have dioxazine purple by liquitex basics mm -hmm. We have Artist Loft Level 2, but this is beautiful. This powder blue. Oh my God, this is just one of my absolute favorite colors, ah, you guys. That's funny because it's very similar to my grayish blue, but just bluer and lighter. It is, it mm -hmm. is. Um, and then Naples Yellow uh, by Master's Touch. Love that color too. Yes. So let's get to layering my cup. Or not layering it, but dirty pouring You're it. You're going to dirty pour I'm going to dirty pour Okay. It. I'm going to start with a little bit of this. And I notice you've got a pin in your cup, sir. I do. I have pinned my cup so that way whenever I flip it and I pull it out, it'll let the pressure mm -hmm. and the, the paint will come out the bottom. Wonderful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with this one next. this a little bit of this sorry all right it's one of the lovely peeps at home to be able to see your wonderful colors no metallics in this pour no gold no silver I know. have a lot of this already. Let me go back to this one. Now we calculated you need about six or seven ounces. That's a nine ounce cup. Yeah. So you can go like a good three quarters of the way up that thing. Such flair. Such finesse. <laughs> Mm 
Now I'm going to put a little bit more of this one. And what should I top it off with? I think, hmm. Maybe a little bit more blue. Okay. All right. Lovely. Enough, right? That is one dirty, layered little car. It is. All right, guys. So I've got my flow extender here. I'm going to flood, uh, flood my canvas and then flip we can go scopus. ahead and flip a cuppa. <laughs> I flip a cuppa. Flip a cuppa. Okay guys, my canvas is flooded. I got my dirty cup right here. So I'm gonna flip this onto my canvas. Ooh. Nine out of 10. I almost got it right in center too. That's why you didn't get a 10 out of 10. Oh. <laughs> you. So what's the plan, sir? I'm just letting it sit for just a second. Right. And then I'm gonna pull my pen out from here and we're gonna see all the paints. It's gonna be a paint grenade. Yes, yes. It's so funny you can see all the where the paint hit the bottom of the Exactly top. when you were laying. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Let's pull the pin on this bad boy. See what happens with this. I can feel the suction on it. Let's get it to come back this way a little bit. All right, everybody, what time is it? What time is it? It is tilting time. Tilting time. Your door. 
Okay, guys. Intergalactic. I am in love wow. with this. In love with this. It, the colors are just jumping right out. It's just so beautiful. This Naples yellow has just selled up like crazy. It looks like gold, but it's I not. Know. There isn't, I know. There isn't one metallic in the lot there. But those I know. Master's Touch, the Grombocker, and the Liquitex Basic all really worked well together. I know, and I'm absolutely just loving the swirl that's going, like uh, all of it is just amazing to me. Right. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, we're going to get my edges and we'll take you in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ladies and jelly spoons, what is this ungodly mess that you see before you? <laughs> well, we always say that we're very honest here in the studio, and I just did a pour for you guys that basically was blah. It was not a fun pour at all. And so I scraped it with the intention of doing it again. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, I tried a straight pour, but I don't think my colors were right for a straight pour. So I'm actually gonna do a ring pour instead on this 12 by 16 inch canvas using exactly the same colors, colors that Jeremy just did that fantastic flip cut with. So all I did was scraped my canvas real quick, got all the paint off it, cleaned up mm. my edges a little bit, and now we're going to layer the cup. So I've got my Lazy Deborah sitting here, and i am also got Splitter's Cuppus, which I'm going to layer for you guys right now. So Jeremy, Let's yes, do this. Yes. So in this uh, middle chamber, I'm going to go the deep red violet. I'm going to do Naples yellow. I'm going to do deep red violet. Then I'm going to top it off. with an Naples yellow. Get every last drop out of that cup. Nothing wasted. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna go lake blue, then wonderful turquoise phalo, then lake blue, and turquoise phalo. Now this turquoise is a very bossy color. So she's getting topped off with a little bit of lake blue. I can top this one off with what's left of my red violet. Why not? Okay, finishing off all these colors that Jeremy has been using. Mm. Next, I'm gonna do dioxazine with this wonderful powder blue. Crazy lovely color. Especially next to the dioxazine purple. It's really stunning. Right, Jeremy? Oh yeah, totally, I agree. That's so, gorgeous. So it's we'll, like it's it's like a periwinkle-ish kind of color. I love that, yes, it absolutely yeah. is. Okay, so that is my multi-layered split cup. Now I'm going to ring pour this one yes. onto the canvas. Right here.
Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Now that's a ring I can get behind. You know what this looks like to me? It looks like Sonic the Hedgehog for some reason. <coughs> it does. Yeah, I, I think agree. it's that purple in there. Yeah. All right. Um, now my canvas is wet still. However, I still do want a little bit of flow extender on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my remaining colors and then mix in a little bit of water. So this is not going to be necessarily a pretty color by any means, but it's just to be used as a flow extender. And we don't like wasting paint. So um, we don't waste paint. We always use every last drop of everything that we've got. Homemade flow extender color here. So let's just make sure that there's something around this in order for it to flow. All right, studio hubby. Yes. What time is it? It is spinning time. <laughs> I could hear you think about that one then, just as you're about to <laughs> shout it. It is indeed, normally it's tilting time on the studio, but with this lazy Deborah in play, it's gonna be spinning time. Let's do this. It's actually stand back and spin it time. Yes. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yep. So there you have it folks, um, I love it. It's a wonderful ring pour on a lazy Deborah with some really beautiful lines. I'm loving everything I'm seeing here so I'm not gonna touch any more. I'm gonna leave it exactly how it is. I'm gonna get my edges, touch this one more time and then we're gonna take you in for a close up. Yes. Let's do it. Thank you guys, I hope you love it. Ring pours. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it indeed. <laughs> um, a flip cup and a ring pour. Yes. Um, what do you think? Tell me about your, your flip cup. Oh my gosh, I absolutely loved my flip cup. Right. Um, I loved like that pop of that, uh, that yellow, that uh, Naples, uh, Naples yellow. yellow. Right. Um, 
the purple, everything right. that's in there. Um, I really, really loved how it came through. I thought they all complemented each other really well. I, I do too. Why don't you show them at home? Because okay. we've got the dried results of these pieces, We guys. do. Walk this right up here. Walk this way. Yes. I'm, I'm in love with this. I love, I love this right here. Like this whole thing right here. It's kind of like a horse head. Um, but yeah, and see there's his neck. Uh, anyway, I know I'm, I, I'm starting to see things myself in these now. Right. But uh, anyway, I love this piece. I hope you guys like it. I can't wait to hear uh, what your comments. And um, yeah, but I'm in love with this. Nice and shiny because of the yeah. gloss medium that we put in all our pores. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my ring. It's so um, beautiful. I'm gonna call this one Sonic. Um, it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog to me for some reason. It's the blues and the purples and the yellow, I think that's why. Um, again, got gloss medium in the pore, so it's nice and shiny. Um, I really love this. Um, my middle was great. I love the way that the Naples yellow interacted with the other colors mm. on this one too. The Naples yellow is a color that we shy away from, but actually I really That's liked nice. how, yeah, it came out in both these pores. Yeah. Um, it was a really fun ring to do. And I missed, after I did it, I kind of realized just how much I'd missed pouring on that Lazy Deborah. Yeah. Mm, so I'm definitely gonna yeah. do it again soon. All right. Yeah, it was really fun. Nice. So please let us know what you think. Um, we will always answer every single one of your comments. Yes, we do. Every single comment gets read and answered. Um, there's no bot doing it on our behalf. Yeah. And um, <laughs> as I said earlier at the beginning, we re appreciate every single one of you for being here with us. Um, that's it, guys. Yeah. We're gonna say, have a great Sunday. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining us here today. And we'll see you on Tuesday for another premiere. That's right. Yeah, let's do it. We'll let you right. get on. Have a great day, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank... Spank? <laughs> Spanks are very special. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our... Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson. We have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles. Yay! AKA Laurie Finza. And We'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much.